So let's start and be ready for that. Yes, student. Human invented a variety of cloth and variety of fibers, which is suitable to climate as well as suitable to fashion suit. Yes. And the silk is one of them. Yes, student. The silk is one of them, which is called as queen of fiber. Yes, student. Which is called as queen of fiber. And this silk, which is not only useful for clothing, which is also useful for cushion pillows, wall covering, curtains. Okay. And you know, the silk, which is coming from silkworm. Yes. This silk, which is coming from silkworm. Now, today we are going to learn about sericulture. Yes. So now tell me, student. What you can able to see on the slide? Yes? Raise the hand. As I told, you can tell me this answer in your, your, in your convenient language like Marathi, Hindi or English. So tell me. Yes? Pratiksha, please raise the hand. Okay, Pratiksha, go ahead. Uh, Ma'am, in this picture, show that the uh, silk, silk clothes, uh, like uh, blankets, okay. I think t-shirts. Okay, and, very uh, good. Very nice answer. Yes? Anyone is there? Except Pratiksha? Okay, see. So, there are different types of cloth in different types of fibers. Like silk, cotton then jute and wool. Now there are different types of silk which manufactured in India. You know different types of silk? Yes? Any one of you please raise the hand. Yes, student. Okay, so now see there are four types of silk which manufactured in India. That is mulberry silk, Muga silk, tropical tassar silk and temperate tassar silk. So today we are going to learn the most beautiful subject that is biology. And from this subject we are going to learn the most beautiful topic and that is sericulture. So what do you know about sericulture? Please raise the hand and tell me. Yes? Anyone know about this? What is sericulture? Which is already given in your textbook on page number 257. So I request all of you to open 257 page number. Yes. And as I told, you can tell me this answer. Ma'am, in... chapter name. You can able to see chapter name in front of you. Enhancement of food production. Yes. Any one of you? Okay, no one is there? Okay, so listen carefully. Sericulture is a branch of zoology. And sericulture is the silk producer in agro-industry. Agro means agricultural industry. Okay, and India is the second largest silk producing country in the whole world. After China. So now, raise the hand and tell me, which is the first largest silk producing country? Yes, raise the hand. First. Now you can see the answer in front of you. Yes? China. Very China. good. No breaking of rules. Raise the hand. Okay. Okay. And which is the second Largest silk producing country yesterday? India. Yeah. Very perfect. That is India. And now tell me what the sericulture means? Yes? Sericulture is the silk producing in agro industry. Very perfect. Now I can see your hand raise. Okay. So please hand raise. Now 
here i'm going to show you one beautiful story regarding discovery of self okay so please listen carefully and you all have to tell me this story in your comfortable language okay so listen carefully covered 5000 years back by the mankind according to an old chinese legend silk was discovered by a chinese empress she found some white worms eating up the leaves of the mulberry trees in her garden she noticed that worms were spinning shiny cocoons around them she collected some of those cocoons accidentally one of the cocoons chopped into her cup of tea she noticed that the cocoon was actually made from a long thread that was both strong and soft in this way the fiber of silk was discovered but chinese guarded the secret of silk for over 1000 years now tell me student what is this story behind discovery of silk yes very good keshav very nice keep it up yes keshav unmute yourself and tell me first of all uh, the lady and the man they they seem to be chinese and in china there are trees okay. on the trees there were silk worms and silk worms like they eat the leaf like the special type of leaf and they like give the silk and that lady so found she... that it is uh, like some different substance like he tested it yes. and they found they discovered silk first of all very perfect answer given by keshav so big clap for keshav everyone yes very good keshav so now you can able to see on the slide yes a chinese tale of the discovery so you know the ancient empress lezu the wife of the emperor first discovered this silk worm cell in china yes and she was drinking tea under tree when a silk cocoon fell into her tea cup please pratik and uh, mute yourself pratik kute mute yourself yes so she was drinking tea under tree when a silk cocoon fell into her tea cup and a hot tea losing the long strand of a silk yes and what happened after that as she it out and started to wrap the silk thread around her finger she felt a warm sensation when silk ran out on larvae appeared you can able to see the larvae at the right hand side and after that she realized that it was this larvae that produced the silk yes and soon she taught this to people and it become widespread so this is a story which behind the discovery of silk now student i am going to show you one small video which is very beautiful regarding life cycle of silk moth yes
Okay, so this is really beautiful video about life cycle of silkworm, which is very short one. Okay, now tell me what are the types of silk? Yes, raise the hand. I already learned this in the second slide. So raise the hand and tell me at least one or two types of silk. Yes. Any one of you? Very good, Pratik Shan. Someone is there. Yes, Pratik. Any doubt? Okay. So let's start with Sonal. Mulberry silk. Wow! Very good, mulberry silk. Yes, Nehal. It is silk and uh, to sharp silk. Okay. Yes, Pratiksha. Malbari silk, Muga silk, Yes. Very perfect answer, Susi. As I told, very brilliant student from my class. I again request Pratik, please unmute, please mute yourself. Yes, Pratik Kute. Now you can able to see on the slide. Mulberry silk, tropical tassar silk, temperate tassar silk, and muga silk are the four types of silk. Okay? So now we are going to learn about sericulture stages of production. You know, student, this sericulture divided into three stages. The one that is cultivation of mulberry, agricultural division, Rearing of cucumber, that is entomological division. Entomology is nothing but the branch of zoology where the study of insect. And the last one that is reeling of cucumber, technical division. So let's start with first division and please listen carefully because I will ask so many questions on the base of this division. Okay, so here first thing. This include the cultivation of host plant, larval stage of silk moth which feed on this plant. Different plants require different condition for their growth like this. And the last one, this is the one type of division which is very crucial step and this is the beginning step for the sericulture. Now tell me what you understood from this all four step, which is very easy. So raise the hand and tell me. Yes, Pratiksha? Yes? Uh, 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 yes, Pratiksha, go ahead. Ma'am? Uh, yes, Pratiksha. The, uh, cultivation of host plant. Uh, yes. Larval stage of a silk moth seed of these plants. Uh, different okay. plants uh, require for the different condition for their for their growth and development. Uh, thus, the different is uh, actually step. This is beginning step. Yes. So what we understood from these steps that we made a host plant on these the larval stages of silk moth feed on that particular plant. For example, now you can able to see on this slide that is cultivation of mulberry mori culture. Mori is nothing but Bombex mori, which is one of the famous species of silk worm, which produce a very nice silk product, okay, very nice silk trade. So now you can able to see on the left hand side, mulberry silkworm feed on mulberry plant. And for this mulberry plant, suitable climate is required. That is the plantation during early spring with steam cutting and root grafting. Okay. So now this is cultivation of mulberry. That is moriculture. Now we are going to see entomological division. Now tell me what is meant by entomology. Raise the hand. Yes. 
Yes, student. Any one of you, I already told in the types, in the stages of sericulture. So listen carefully. Yes, Aishwarya. Very good. Yes, Aishwarya, unmute yourself. Study of insects. So see, very perfect answer given by Aishwarya. So see, very smart children in my class. Very perfect. So entomological division where the study of insect means what? This include rearing of silk moth and this is most typical and time consuming process. But you know student, this required the complete knowledge of life cycle which is interested in the very, uh, in the particular type of silk moth along with its morphology and anatomy. Okay, now we are going to, just a minute. Yes, now we are going to learn technical division. So technical division involves following steps, such as this involves the extraction and purification of silk fiber from cocoon. This is the last step for sericulture and you know 30 to 40 percent cocoon of the rearing tree are allowed to complete their life cycle and while rest of them use for obtaining silk fibers. This technical division is very energy consuming and time consuming shape. Now here the leveling of silk which is include harvesting. So see harvesting means what? The removing and selection of cocoon. You can see mountages there. From that mountages, removing and selecting of cocoon takes place and where 58% of the silk present in the each cocoon. Now I'm going to show you uh, one video regarding this technical division. So listen carefully. Curtains, cushions and wall coverings. Silk is produced naturally by lava of silk moth. The best variety of silk is obtained from the lava of the silk moth, Bombyx mori. The practice of rearing silkworms in captivity to produce silk on a large scale is called sericulture. Sericulture starts with laying of eggs by the silk moth. The adult yellowish white female moth lays pinhead sized slightly yellowish eggs on a special paper set out by the silk farmer. The eggs are uniformly spread on egg frames and then covered with tissue paper and an outer frame. These frames are kept in an incubation chamber for about 20 days where they hatch due to the warmth. After 20 days egg frames are taken out kept on a tray and opened. In these 20 days, eggs hatch into about half a centimeter long black larvae. These egg frames having larvae are then covered with fresh mulberry leaves by the silk farmer. The larvae then crawl out of the egg frames and feed on the mulberry leaves day and night for four to six weeks and grow into an adult larvae. After approximately six weeks, the adult larvae stop feeding. Farmers transfer these larvae to mountages. Each larva then produces a single continuous silken thread and wraps this thread around itself to form a protective case called a cocoon. The cocoon formation completes in three days. The larva first changes into a pupa and then into an adult silk moth which breaks the thread of the cocoon and comes out of it. Since the silk thread of the cocoons is damaged by the silk moth while coming out, silk farmers usually kill them by putting 10-day-old cocoons into hot water. The hot water also loosens the long silken threads of the cocoons. Loosened threads from several cocoons are then wound into yarns to make strong threads which are woven into cloth. In this module you have learned, sericulture is the practice of rearing silkworms to produce silk on a large scale. Sericulture involves the following steps. 
laying of eggs by silk moths, hatching of eggs into larvae, formation of adult larvae, formation of cocoons, and extraction of silk threads. Okay, student. So this whole video regarding technical division. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Now close your books and notebook fast. Yes, and tell me which is the first largest country of producing silkworm is. Yes, Pratiksha. Ma'am, uh, the first largest country in of the producing silkworm is China. Oh my God, so many Henrys. Okay, very good. Tell me which is the second largest country of producing silkworm is. Yes, Rutuja Lokhande. India. Very nice to see. Wow, so many Henrys. I'm so happy. And now tell me definition, definition of entomology. Yes. Okay. Yes, Shweta. Yes. Yes, Krishna. Study of insects. Okay, I very good. Study of insect. Very nice. Now here my next question. And I want all the Henry's choose the correct option. So my first question is this species produce silk of the superior quality. As I told this, this species of silkworm, which is very, very famous one. So choose the correct option from that. Oh, very good, Shweta and Krishna. Okay, Shweta, tell me. Bombex Mori. Very good, Bombex Mori. Now, second question. Silk is produced by... Yes. Yes, Pratiksha. Cocon. Cocon. Very good. So see, I think you all understood this lesson very well. Now, students, I request to you, please note down this homework in your notebook. Write short notes on different stages of sericulture. Yes. Very nice. I think all of you enjoyed this lesson very well. Okay. So revise this le le uh, lesson. And as I told, practice a lot. Okay. So bye-bye. And take care all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.